Hey everyone, it's your girl Jennifer Denning, aka the Black Honey Badger. I just wanted to thank everyone for their support. The likes, views, and comments were amazing, so thank you again. My next blog post is reclaiming the treasure we thought was trash. This one talks about the topic of interracial dating. At one point, I was posting some of my work on Medium. When I added this post and shared to Twitter, I had a wonderful conversation with a girl named Purple Glitter at Jacqueline B. Free. During that conversation, even though we disagreed, I loved the discourse between us. I really want to thank her for not only taking the time to read the posts, but also for the fire conversation. So if you have an opinion on this topic, feel free to share. These posts are not written in stone, and I would love the discourse. Also, this post was done when Childish Gambino debuted his song, This Is America. And now on to the post. Reclaiming the, tra the treasure we thought was trash. One man's trash is another man's treasure. We hear that so much it has become a trope. But in the case of black men, it's true. We as black women threw them away and let the women of other ethnicities have them. Yet get upset when a black man of affluence chooses a woman of another race as his life partner. We can't have it both ways, ladies. I know we live in a we believe it is our world and our prerogative, but it's really not. Black men have needs as well, and after being told what your role was in the community, being told what the epitome of black maleness is, and not being able to meet that, and being rejected by us, what do you expect them to do? And not only that, but females of other ethnicities tend to demand less. It's time for us to not only accept them for who and what they are, but to also lay aside and reinvent what a black man is. They are as complex and as diverse as us. They are also our mirrors to help us see that we can love ourselves no matter how we look and feel. We need to show them the same type of love that they show us. Here's the thing. I have a liking for a variety of music, not just hip hop, rap, and R&B. Why is it right for me to like a variety of things, but a black male is looked down upon for liking things that aren't necessarily black? Again, the standard of male blackness that we set upon them isn't right. I tend to like the geeky guy that likes to game and may not listen to the same type of music that I do. I've heard this a lot as well from black women, black men. Women want a thug type of man in their 20s, but after a couple of kids and learning that while that type of man is exciting, it's the one that is responsible that she yearns for. Well, by, that, by the time she yearns for that, the responsible man has gotten tired of being rejected by us for liking diverse things and has gone on to want someone who didn't make him feel bad for being himself. Generally, that is a woman outside of the race. And then we as black women get our feelings hurt and lash out at that man because he didn't choose a black woman to be his partner. I saw a video recently surrounding the controversy of Childish Gambino's video, This Is America. In the video, it talked about his partner and how she was a woman of a different race. When I saw the image of them walking somewhere, I immediately was confused. Like, wait, he supposedly made this pro-black video, but his wife is white. I was confused and hurt. And then I got some education from a friend and had to check my feelings at the door. As black women, we create the type of environment we have. We create the type of men we have. We put it in the air that men who aren't this typical black male role that we set up somehow fail and don't deserve the type of love and support that they need from us. What one woman won't do, another will. We have systematically shown black men what we believe they are worth. Now, I don't know about his history, but if I were to conjecture, I would say that Childish probably made more than his fair share of attempts to be with a black woman in his community and was rejected because he didn't fit the standard of black maleness. I have a question. Who the hell are we to get mad if they find love elsewhere? And who the hell are we to set the standard of black maleness? We are not male. We don't know how to be male. We don't really know what they go through. And if the question is, did we do something wrong? The resounding answer is hell yes. 
We rejected them when they didn't fit some crazy standard of male blackness. We told them they weren't enough. Hell, we told them they weren't worthy, worthy of respect. And the sad part, the really sad part, they expect it. They just shrug their shoulders and chalk it up to, oh, well, and what the hell else is new? <clears throat> and while we threw them away, who picked them up? Showed them love. Showed them that they were enough? That's right. Women of other ethnicities. So the next time you see a picture of a beautiful, luscious black man and the woman beside him is not one of us, don't get in your feelings. Just realize that this is what we perpetuated. It's our fault. Then we blame them, call them beta males, and tell them that the best thing that they can do for the black collective is to stop having sex with women of other ethnicities and or die. We also need to look at the reason why we want them. Is it for them or for the good of the community or for ourselves? We need to want them because of them, their beauty, their originality, their talent and drive, their all over maleness. We need to want them because of who they are, not because of some trumped up reason. Let's be honest. Do we need black men? Yes. But why do we want them? What is so special about the black man? Because I don't think we tell them or celebrate them nearly enough. Have you looked at the man you're with and told him just how much he enriches your life? How he has made you see the beauty that is within you, no matter your, your size, hair length, or texture. Have you told him how you love his virility? His strength, his maleness, I mean, I could go on and catch the vapors, but my point is, the same way you want to know if you're special to them, they want to know. And they don't know. We don't tell them. The entire world ignores the black man, and he needs some shelter. He needs us to tell him just how much of a gem he is to us. To us, if no one else. We need to be that safe space and place for them. They deserve it. But somehow we gain something by telling the black man he's not worth anything. Ask yourself if what you are gaining is worth losing the backbone of our collective. Because let me tell you, baby, without the black man, our fight for justice is dead in the water. While I am more than able and willing to pick up the gun and fight for my people Ain't no one really scared of me. Our oppressors are fearful of the black man, which is why they give us as black women incentives to continue to degrade our men. Is it worth it? Is it working? We cannot get mad at the black at black men for saying, forget your standards and stop shopping, start shopping somewhere else for a mate. Something else I find humorous. We get mad at black men for choosing someone outside the race but we don't really seem to get mad at black women for doing the same thing. Women like Diane Carroll and Iman have chosen mates outside the race, and we don't seem to have that same vigor and vitriol for them. That is a hell of a double standard. If we don't want them to do it, why is it okay for us to? We have to get out of our own way, ladies. We are the rule makers of our community. It's time for us to create a new paradigm. Time for us to show Sorry, for us to shape and create our community in a way that both genders are loved and celebrated. Thank you for listening. And to all my black honey badgers, keep your claws sharp, your minds clear, and your hearts pure.